welcome to Angela's Hangout. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. So the other day we made a rotisserie chicken and so I thought with some of the leftovers that I have already that I'm going to make a quick little easy pot pie in a, in the air fryer. So this is a Power XL. Love this thing. I swear you guys, this thing is like becoming more and more amazing to me. So Anyway, let's get started. These are just little mini pot pies and I'm really excited to share this with you. So let's go check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use this refrigerated pie dough. Um, you can get it from any store. I'm gonna use this tumbler because it has a large mouth on it. It's nice and heavy, so it'll cut right through, no problem. And then, um, cause I don't have pizza cutters or not pizza cutters, but, uh, cookie cutters. So I figured this is going to work out fine for me. And, um, so I was able to get five out of that one, um, one pack of, uh, uh, pizza dough. So that's pretty cool. And with a leftover, we're going to go ahead and make like a nice big one, which is, well, actually about the size of a calzone. So we have one big one and small, five small ones. Okay. So now it's time to stuff them. So this was super easy. I just took a couple carrots, a couple little pieces of celery, celery stalk, I guess, and boiled those down for about 10, 15 minutes. And I let them cool down. And since the chicken was already done, made my life a whole lot easier. So I just shredded some, um, some of the rotisserie chicken in there and I added a can of peas to it. Um, you could use the frozen if you'd like, but um, these turned out great. So, um, and I also added in a can of uh, cream of chicken soup to it too. So Campbell's cream of chicken. So now that those are done, I'm going to go ahead and press down the sides with my fork and make them a little more pie-like. And plus it's gonna hold it all together. It's gonna it, it make it all adhere together. So I'm um, just gonna go ahead and put those on all five or do that to all five of them. Okay, so now we're just going to take our egg wash, which is literally just one egg and a little bit of water. And we're just going to go ahead and use our little silicone brush and just kind of uh, just spread that all over the ends or the, the tops of everything. And then we're going to flip it over and then crease and uh, put the egg wash on top of it there. Okay, so now that we have both sides creased and egg washed, we're going to go ahead and just make little slits in there so that it'll allow it to uh, steam out and uh, puff up a little bit. So that's it. So we're going to put it on this parchment paper lined uh, uh, rack and then um, put it in the air fryer. We're, it, it's really cool because with this rack, you can actually fit all five of them on there, which I really, really like. I appreciate this thing so much. It's so easy to use. Love it. And also, don't forget, we're going to also use our leftover scraps to make a calzone type one, too. So you'll see that in just a moment. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and turn on the air fryer. I've had it preheating for just a few minutes. Um, I usually preheat it for about five minutes if I have time. If not, then I just, whatever, it doesn't really matter. It'll still heat up, no problem. So I'm going to put the um, air fryer to 325, and we're going to put it for a total of uh, 12 minutes. And that's it. Okay, so they've been cooking now for six minutes. So I did go ahead and make the bigger one, um, which is looks like a pretty little calzone. So cute. So at six minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and flip everything over and then um, just put them back in there for the remaining six minutes. Now the other one hasn't been in as long. So um, let the, give that one just a few more minutes. And voila, literally after 12 minutes, this is what they look like. They're so pretty, so cute. Uh, ready for any occasion nice little bite-sized handy snack um, the the bigger one I when I was pulling it out I broke it which really bummed me out but you know what it's all gonna taste the same so no worries there all right you guys another successful dinner look at there we look at that so so yummy so telling you 
you gotta get one of these things. It's like, you totally won't be disappointed because I'm telling you everything that I've made so far, I am just loving. Hmm. It's so good. Now, even though it's pre-made pie dough, it doesn't matter. It's the filling. The filling is super simple, easy. You saw us do it together. Um, it's really delicious. Tastes like a chicken pot pie. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching with me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon in the next one. We'll see you then. Bye-bye now.